So not much to talk about with week eight in general. Um, I haven't really made too much progress anywhere except for maybe coin. Coin has been slowly becoming like the one place where I'm seeing a lot more progress just in general. And that's pretty cool. Um, I am going to get a little bit uh, deeper into it though starting this week because now I've gotten all the issues that I've had out of the way over the last few weeks and my competition's now done. So we're going to get started on that. But first, I thought I would talk about now that I've just gotten back from uh, from uh, my competition, I'm back home. I now want to talk about something that had just popped up, I believe, last night, maybe a couple nights ago. And that is Atlas Earth's new makeover. So I head off for a competition for like, what, a few days. I come back. I just got back from Knoxville. And I find out that the Atlas Earth uh, website has completely revamped. And it looks like they have completed the uh, new web version, I guess, of Atlas Earth. So I thought before I did anything else, I would take a look at this. Now, I have not seen anything yet. I see a login page. And that login page is right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and log in. And I'm going to go check out the uh, the web app here, all right? And we're going to take a look, and I'm going to give my first impressions of it. Okay, so right off the bat, I see that we have, uh, is that really a dot cloud? Yeah, anyway. Uh, I see the ability to sign in with Apple, with Google, with Facebook, and also a phone number. And I can send a code there. So I'm going to go ahead and try signing in and I will get back with you in a little bit. Okay, so first impression here is everything looks a lot more organized here. I see my username. I see I am mayor of uh, the city of Kannapolis. I see I am not a governor of anything because, you know, only 50 people can be governor in this game. And only one person can be president, at least until we go international anyway. So that being said... Uh, yeah, I have this many parcels owned, and this tells me how much rent I've accru accrued over my time. Uh, that's really not that much, but to be fair, I really haven't done too much over the last little while. And then we have uh, my Atlas Bucks, 1,554. I'm going to head to free bucks now. And looks like we have merchant missions. And I do have my Speedway currently active for a couple more days. Uh, that's pretty cool. Oh, no, it's, yeah, it's until tomorrow, actually. Uh, Burger King, Jimmy John's, Annie Ann's, Moe's Southwest Grill. And there's some here, like Round Table Pizza is like a seven-day mission late. So I guess what they mean by missions is going into the merchant and buying stuff. I thought we were doing, like, actual missions. Like, oh, buy this many plots of land or win this many games of racing and then you get a certain amount of Atlas Bucks, but I guess that is not the case. Or maybe watch this many ads for the day. Now that would have been nice. Um, just renaming the merchant uh, the merchant card rewards uh, missions, though. Yeah, that's still uh, all right, that's still not bad. I mean, I didn't even realize Burger King was a sponsor here, but it does show like all the different sponsors as well, which is good because I think I've only seen like five or six of these in my area. Obviously, uh, I wish I were back in Vegas, though. I'd be eating round table pizza almost every day. <laughs> All right, so the other thing that they have added here are additional buying Atlas bucks. Now, um, I had been working on the Upland video right before I left, and I had mentioned that there was a huge difference between the... And you'll, and you'll hear me talking about this, too, in Upland. There's a huge difference between the web app version and the mobile app version. And the web app version, you have the option of... Uh, more expensive things that you can do, like a $25,000 option or something like that. So I guess they kind of followed suit on that. And you see that we have, oh, actually, I just saw this here. Looks like all Atlas bucks are 10%. There's 10% more bucks here. I'm seeing $4.99 for 110 Atlas bucks, uh, $39.99 for $9.90, $99.99 for $25.50. That was originally $2,400, so that's not quite 10%. Like a 6% increase. But then you have like several other options here, like the $200.5150, the $1,000.26,000, and then the $2,054,000. Yeah, that's... Okay, that's just a little bit more. So yeah, that's actually a pretty... Uh, that's quite a lot of Atlas books. Uh, I don't know if I would be... Uh, 
I'd be privy to uh, to um, add that much into my account. But I do like that we're getting a little bit more bang for our buck here. Uh, I would like to know, and I'm going to check right now on my mobile app, if it is still 100 on for on the uh, on the app. And I'm actually just running up right here. As a matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and stop recording and re-record and show you that as well. Okay, so I'm going to go to shop here. Shop. And it takes a little while to load, as you can see. Looks like they're still having issues with that. Although, I've heard some of you tell me that your connections have been perfectly fine. But for whatever reason, mine has not. And my internet connection is pretty strong. So yeah, it's only 100 here. If we compare that to... Let me get back to my window capture here. And move this over here. I'll go buy bucks. And you can see, yeah, it's 110 versus... Here's the 110, and I'm gonna go back here. This is 110 here, and then it's 100 here. So uh, quite interesting. And then yeah, 10% more with the 39.99, and then 2400 versus 25.50. So yeah, if you can, uh, if you do want to buy Atlas Bucks, I do recommend that you buy them from the app, uh, especially if you plan to buy uh these ones because you can't get these on the app at all uh, especially the fifty-four thousand atlas bucks i'm pretty sure someone would want to spend two thousand dollars to become mayor of kannapolis right <laughs> so i don't know i think i have uh only about 280 something actually in uh in this city so i mean yeah for two thousand dollars you can basically become a mayor of any city maybe a mayor of multiple cities so, um, again, I'm not encouraging or discouraging you to do either of any of this. I'm just showing you new features. Said so I'm not really big on the financial advice stuff anyways. I pretty much just show this off because it's what I play, and you guys enjoy it. And, uh, you know, I'm trying to build my own uh, side hustle in a way, you know, out of this. The, that's why it's called Beer Money Engine. That's the name of the channel. So, yeah, that's my first reactions on this is... Uh, the free bucks here, the missions, a little bit disappointing because I thought they'd be like actual missions. So I was wrong about that. Um, and I'm obviously going to cover up uh, this section up here, just letting you know. And then uh, the buy bucks uh, would be kind of exciting for those who want to put, uh, who want to get a little bit more bang for their buck. Uh, definitely go to the web app. So as in my opinion, uh, the nicest thing, honestly, was this profile thing. Let me move this back here. Uh, yeah, the nice thing was this profile thing, honestly. So uh, I can even calculate and get my uh, and get stuff here without having to open up my profile picture. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, yeah, so that's the video, everyone. If you like this, please like and yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye, everyone.